Today I've got a USDA prime ribeye, age 28 days, and I'm gonna do a reverse sear. No, I'm not speaking a foreign language, but I'll tell you all about it coming up. I've got this gorgeous prime ribeye that's been aged 28 days. This is gonna be fantastic. I can't wait to do this. First of all, I wanna talk about a couple quick things. Number one, why aged beef? And then let's also talk about the reverse sear. But first, let's talk about the hat. I got this from one of my buddies on YouTube, some of his merchandise. He has a YouTube channel that's mainly around Texas Lottery scratch tickets. And I love watching him. It's great entertainment. And if you're into that, I would suggest that you go ahead and go to his channel, AR Platinum, and check it out. And if you're not familiar with a traditional sear, I'll put a link to my video, Skillet Seared New York Steak, right up here. The difference is when you sear your steak first and then put it in the cooktop, it creates all these different layers of doneness. For example, you've got this beautiful crust on the outside, then you have a layer of well-done steak underneath that, then another layer of medium or medium well, and then it takes you all the way down to the very center where you have your medium rare. When you reverse sear a steak, you cook it to your desired temperature first, and then you quick sear it on either side very briefly to create that crust, giving you a more uniform medium rare or your desired doneness in the center. You don't have all those different layers. So if you like a medium or medium well steak, a traditional sear is fine. But if you like your steak rare to medium rare, the best thing to do is to do a reverse sear. Dry aging is usually performed in a humidity and a temperature controlled refrigeration. The key effect of the dry aging is the concentration and the saturation of the natural flavors. Now I'm not an expert in this area. I only know what I know, but I'm sure you could Google it or do a YouTube search and find a lot more information about it. So we're gonna do a reverse sear on this gorgeous piece of beef and we're gonna do it out on the grill on my Weber grill and I'm gonna show you exactly how we do it. So I've taken the steak off the grill. It currently has an internal temperature of about 115 degrees or so. About 130 to 135 is medium rare. Um, it's gonna bring the temperature up when I put the sear on it. So I've taken it off to rest right now. In the meantime, I've cranked my, all of my burners on my grill up to high so I can get that nice and hot when I go out and do the sear. And I'm just gonna put a little butter on top of this and I'm just going to cover this in foil. We're going to let it rest for about 10 minutes. Let's check it out. This was so exciting. I really enjoyed taking the time to do this today. Man, this is unbelievable meat quality. My favorite steak um, is at a place in Seattle called the Metropolitan Grill downtown. Amazing steakhouse. 
I think this one's going to be right up there. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. We've got a lot of great things planned. We would love for you to be a part of it. Please like, subscribe, share. Here we go. Cheers. Wow. It's unbelievable. The meat is so flavorful. Really nice brown crust on there. It's medium rare all the way through, just how I like it. This is a superb steak. Amazing. And that's how that one goes.